Alrighty, so the news is coming out in two, one, all right, should be out. Boom, bam. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we should be getting, obviously, the second Halloween banner this week, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, we're getting Halloween Deanne and Halloween Slater. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a really late maintenance, I guess. Uh, not super, super late. Like, that's 4 a.m. for me, which is kind of annoying. God, why do I have to wait all the way till 4 a.m. just to play a patch? But, uh, yeah, 10 a.m. is pretty early as well for them, kind of. So that's like, uh, well, I mean, eh. It's like a three-hour maintenance. Nothing too crazy. But either way, uh, yeah, we're getting a Halloween update. So obviously two new Halloween characters. If I'm being totally honest, I think you can probably skip this one if you already have Green Gother. Uh, the Deanne seems very lackluster and the Slater does seem pretty good, but uh, he's pretty lacking on stats and stuff like that. So he could be pretty squishy, kind of weak, uh, but pretty decent utility for the bond team uh and i'm sure there's going to be some other stuff that you could probably use him for as well um just the fact that he has like the shutdown card and everything like that so i don't know kind of cool he might be a little bit better than like the sr slater that has that sort of same card um so i'll probably try to get slater especially because um if you didn't know today um there was a login event on jp and korea letting them know that they're basically going to be rerunning the kof collab so that is kind of big news for me personally that's a skip banner because i already have the characters unless they add something new so uh, i may end up trying to do at least one rotation to see if i can get both of these characters I'll, if i don't i'm just gonna get slater i really don't have much interest in deanne but um yeah i think slater could be kind of cool he's honestly i really like sr uh red slater and I think that he could be great as an SSR, uh, could be a little bit more, you know, utility and everything like that. So I'll probably go for that. But it looks like they're adding a, uh, the, this is, I th if I'm not mistaken, this is the very first season three tavern cosmetic set. Um, and it is a Halloween one. And I'm pretty sure like you just, you get them all for free. You get them all from uh, the different events and stuff like that. So you get this one from the Hawk Streamland, uh, which I kind of like the Hawk Streamland, to be honest. Like, it's really cool. Um, since we've already had it before, I don't know if I'll be quite as interested in it as I was the first time. But, um, yeah, that, that one's pretty cool. It's basically the one where uh, Hawk, like, slowly levels up and you just, like, buff his uh, different attack stats. So you can, I think it's just uh, attack, crit chance, and crit damage are the three ones that you can sort of buff. And uh, you can kind of just, like, power him up and he just fights, you know, better enemies. And as he progresses through the, the floors, uh, you get different uh, rewards and stuff like that so that's pretty cool you'll get some of these rewards from that uh the event boss battle exchange shop uh you'll get these and then the event boss battle clear reward you'll get these so this is actually a pretty good update if i'm not mistaken like <laughs> there's a pretty decent amount of stuff in this one um, we are going to be getting the matrona costume uh pieces i know a lot of people were asking me over the past week hey how do i get you know the the halloween hat and the halloween gauntlets or whatever for her attack piece um for matrona since she just came out because in the you know obviously in the promotional art behind me she has them on and everybody's like i don't know how to get those can you please help me uh it's they just held it off for a week, I'm assuming, because they're doing the whole, you know, rushed update sort of thing on Global at the moment. Um, they just ended up pushing it over to the next week. They probably should have just figured out an event that they could do it on the same week, so that way you could already have them for Matrona when she comes out. But, um... I don't know. It is what it is. You get them from the bingo event and the Halloween world quest, I guess. Uh, so yeah, free cosmetics for her. If you pulled for her last week, I'm sh I think her banner should still be around if you still want to go for it, but obviously still kind of an interesting banner. You can probably skip it if you don't need it. Uh, there is going to be Halloween special missions where you get a free copy of Halloween Meliodas, which is good for me because I don't have him, but um, <laughs> kind of just overall bad for everybody because he's not good. So uh, I don't know, free unit, can't complain. I mean, I didn't have him in the first place, so that'll at least add him to my roster, but uh, yeah, he's not good. And then uh, they're doing the event boss battle uh, that they did last year, which is basically where you can solo the demons and they're like Halloween sort of demons and you still get the exact same sort of um, uh, demon materials from them, which is really, really nice. And uh, I think they're quite a bit easier. So you can honestly just go in, fight each one of them. I don't think that there's a... Uh, I don't think that there's a like a attribute restriction or anything like that, so you can use any team you want to. I'm sure Escanor is going to absolutely blow through this. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was out last year whenever they did it as well, so I think a lot of people were just doing that anyway. But yeah, don't be. <laughs> Originally, when this came out, it when you go into the the like 
actual event itself, it's on the red demon with his pumpkin head. You can actually like scroll over and go to the other demons. Like you just have to scroll past the red demon once he's there. Uh, so don't be like me and just do a bunch of red demons and then finally figure out you could have been doing the other demons the whole time. Uh, so yeah. That's kind of cool. Uh, it looks like we're getting a Fort Solgris reward dungeon, which is kind of nice. Honestly, those are really, really good. They give you really nice rewards every single day. So definitely recommend doing those when you can. Um, Halloween world quest. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, the boss battle event was tied to the world quest. Like once you finish the world quest, you were able to do this. So you probably want to try to get that done you know, day one, so that way you can do the daily limit or whatever on these if you want to. Uh, bingo event, Hawk's Dream, Chain, uh, Dream Adventure, and then it looks like they're doing a 100% deathmatch rate up, which is kind of nice because uh, if you don't know, you can buy the monthly bundle and you automatically get the 100% increased deathmatch rate up. But for you know regular players, it's very tedious and annoying to uh, to get a deathmatch sometimes. So with 100% rates, uh, it's really nice. Uh, looks like we're getting a new battle event with Hawk. Kind of cool. It is what it is. Um, Costumes, though. The new Deanne is a brand new Deanne, which is very disappointing in my opinion because she's pretty lackluster. Um, I think the only reason I would want her to begin with is just so that way I can go ahead and get her Halloween cosmetics and stuff like that out of the way. Um, but I don't know what it is about her. She just doesn't really have a whole lot going on. And uh, yeah, you would need to buy a whole new set of cosmetics for her. And it's just really, in my personal opinion, it does not seem worth it. So I would probably recommend not worrying about getting costumes for Deanne at the moment. You can maybe power her up if they give um, another sort of uh, like new named Deanne uh, for that sort of set that uses these cosmetics, then maybe invest into it. But um I don't know, personal opinion, she's just not really that great. Um, they are doing Halloween costumes for the two newest festival heroes, though. So, obviously, Festival Gother, and uh, they're doing Ludociel, Margaret. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm so on the fence about buying this Margaret one. I already have all of my cosmetics maxed out for Margaret, so I don't need the cosmetics at all, but they look so good, and you can only get them during Halloween, so I might end up simping a little bit and buying those but i'm definitely going to get the gother one because i don't have all my costumes for gother i actually don't have any for gother besides the free ones so i think uh, i think he'll look really snazzy in this uh this cool new halloween outfit uh, but yeah i might end up getting the uh the margaret one just because it looks so good in my opinion but uh yeah, there's obviously going to be sets for a bunch of older heroes that they already had uh, Halloween outfits for. The commandment ones are not here, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just the the sins and the holy knights, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, some of these costumes are kind of cool. Slater's is kind of neat. Um, I, I know a lot of people like Liz. A lot of people really like the Merlin one. Um, whenever I used to watch more JP content, a lot of people seem to have had the Deanne one. I don't necessarily see it at all on global, but um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> kind of cool. Some of the cosmetics are kind of nice. If I'm not mistaken, I think I actually bought the only one that I bought was Gothers because he's an important unit that I wanted costumes for. But uh, yeah, if you want any of those, this is the time to get them because obviously you can only really get them during Halloween. New bundles, obviously. So there's going to be a ton of ticket bundles and stuff like that for the new banner. It is a 600 mileage, so just be aware that it's not going to be nearly as easy to get a character off of this one as it was for the Matrona banner. But I don't know. This one, this one does have Green Gother on it, so you kind of have to pick and choose your battle here. If you don't have Green Gother, he's still incredibly useful. So you may want to try to summon on the banner to get him because he doesn't come around all that often. Um, and I think he does have a bit of a rate up. I think if I'm not mistaken, the two newest characters have a 0.5 or they did on JP. And then I think Gother has a 0.3% rate up, which is pretty decent. Um, I don't know, not great by any means. He's not a guaranteed character either. So if you go to the 600 mileage, you're not gonna be able to get a guaranteed copy of him, which I think is a kind of, kind of a mistake, honestly. I know a lot of people are gonna be summoning on this banner just to get Green Gother. So <laughs> pretty unfortunate there. But anyways, uh, new artifact card set bonus. It looks like they're going to be giving away a free Happy Halloween set, which decreases allies damage taken from enemies by 5% in PvE activities. So pretty decent. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, I actually don't know if they're necessarily giving this out for free, but I assume they will. Oh, yeah, never mind. They definitely are because you get it from the bingo event and then the uh, event boss battle and then the exchange shop. So, yeah, free card set. You just got to buy the cards out of the uh, respective events. Um, changes to the tavern furniture sales. End of sales. So, I guess you're not going to be able to buy these anymore? 
I guess. If I'm not mistaken, I think I use a lot of the pieces out of the Western one. I think this one just looks kind of like the best. Like some of the pieces out of this one look really, really nice. Um, and then opening for sale. So it looks like you'll be able to purchase these. If I'm not mistaken, they do. you have to purchase them with diamonds if you did not get them from their respective events and stuff like that, which they don't run events that give you cosmetics much anymore. They really need to do reruns of some of the cosmetic events or the tavern cosmetic events. But um, yeah, if you need any of those, I guess you can buy them. Some of them have interesting effects, but mm, I would say more often than not, none of them have anything too crazy. And then it looks like some of the 40 mil uh, celebration part one stuff is going to be ending and it's obviously getting replaced with some of the new Halloween stuff. So yeah, pretty decently packed. I would say there's a, a decent amount of like you know, events and stuff in this, a bunch of free rewards and stuff. The new banner's pretty okay. Um, like I said, these two characters aren't the best in the world. Slater's definitely better than Deanne, in my opinion, but Green Gother's on the banner. So <laughs> I guess pick and choose your battle. Um, I would obviously like to get any extra copies I can get of him because, you know, better ultimate level is obviously really, really good on him because I use him for everything, so higher CC. But uh, I'm not going to be super upset if I don't pull him at all. But I know a lot of players will be because that's who they're going for. So I don't know. Take your take your bet. I'll probably try to go uh, or make a pull or pass video on it whenever it gets closer to the actual, you know, maintenance and everything. So I don't know. I guess stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helped <laughs> keep you up to date with the news. If it did, feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.